Real fired up today. Real fired up today. Tonight, actually. It is 9.30. It's a late video, guys. This might be the latest video we've ever made. We're usually in bed at 10 at the latest. At now. Gratitude, guys. This one really just struck me and I was like, we should do a video on this. I like it as a concept and as a life practice. I mean, yeah, I practice it every single day. I take a moment before bed or on my way to work to just be grateful for all the things that I have. My health, most importantly, my family, Keto Connect. Gratitude, I don't practice it enough, I feel like. I can see, yeah, that's true. For example, right now, we're making a video mm -hmm. and we have 30, 5,000 YouTube subscribers Yeah, now? guys, super dope. It's crazy. Thanks so much. Very grateful of that. But it's easy to just be like, I want 100,000 YouTube subscribers, you know? I mean, don't Always. doubt us, we want that. We do, but we're also very grateful of what we have. Yeah, take a look back, right? Yeah, look back once in a while. It's big in weight loss. Like it's your weight loss journey or just your journey to health. Right. It's easy to always see the things you're doing wrong. Right. And not think about how far you've come. Exactly. How far have you come? Tell us. So a lot of people, a lot of comments, I've talked to a lot of people who are like, you know, I've lost 10 pounds, but I want to lose 30. Or like, I still have these 10 to go. Like, I'm so frustrated. Or like, I haven't lost enough. People are losing 40 and I'm losing five. Mm -hmm. It's like, one, don't compare yourself to other people because we are all little unique snowflakes. And that's a fact. Two, you shouldn't focus on what you haven't gained yet, right? Like, or lost. You should focus on how far you've come because that'll just push you and drive you to keep going, right? You've lost 10 pounds, you've lost three pounds. You, you started today, like those are all fantastic things. You wanna be having like some ambitious goals also, but there's, some, there's a balance. There's, there's always something else, you know? Like if you're just in this perpetual chase, there's no time where you're just like, you know, I'm doing pretty good right now. Yeah. Which it's really hard to realize that. I most really relate this to like graduating college. I got a job, great job, computer engineer right out of college. And I'm like, this is like literally the thing I've been thinking. Like at this point in my life, I'd be like, it's over. I did it, like yeah. everything's complete, but I, that never happened. I was just like, now what? Now I don't really like my job that much. You know, there's always something else. Which is important. There should always be something else. You shouldn't just settle or be satisfied where you are. You always want to strive for better and that's great. But you should also appreciate the moment and the situation you're in because, you know, it could always be worse. So a lot of you think of your goal weight as like, that's it. Once I'm there, all my problems are solved. It's over. I sail off into the sunset, that type of thing. That's not how it works. You're just going to have a new goal. Like then you're going to want to have a six pack and then. Yeah, we want to look a certain way. I want to look more muscular. I want a bigger butt. I want this and that. You have one now. I know. Squats. But like, I'm also, as it gets bigger, I look in the mirror and I'm like, I appreciate you, but like you are working <laughs> it. Like. It's, it's fun to be goofy, but it's also important to be grateful. And yeah. that's really what we're trying to get to. So right now, if you're watching this video, pause it. Press, Ooh, press you're that, doing one of these? Press that space bar. <laughs> um, in case you didn't know that pauses videos. You want them to just scroll halfway down the screen of <laughs> <No>. YouTube? <laughs> it pauses videos on Max. And just take a second like to think about one, two, three, 20 things and just you know, reflect for a couple seconds. That's all you really need to do. And, you know, appreciate those things. Appreciate the people in your life. Appreciate the house you live in, the food you get to eat, the job you have. So what are some things you're grateful for? As much as I say, I hate that, like I'm in debt for law school and like, you know, it didn't really serve me purpose because I'm not a lawyer. I'm extremely grateful for the entire experience of law school because if I didn't go to San Francisco, I would have never met Matt. Keto Connect would have never been born. Miley would have never been our fat little child. Like there's, you know, and if you look at one thing that you're grateful for, you see how it's the root of so many more beautiful things, right? So it's, it's non, it's infinite gratitude. Infinite. And that's just something like I'm grateful for that like, I do think about from time to time. Cause I used to just be like, I, I hated that I went to law school. It was the worst. I'd never recommend it to anyone. But for me, it was like almost, I mean, I am where I am today because of it. So it's, it's important to, you know, money can't buy this relationship or our little kitty, you know, so yeah. it's all worth it. What about you? What are you grateful for? Except these large packs he's getting. I have been working the packs pretty good lately. What am I grateful for? I guess I'm grateful for a lot of things. I'm just grateful for 
you know, being like a pretty smart, intelligent, like guy that can basically go out and do whatever he wants to do for the most part. Like I control of my own destiny. I don't have any limitations for the, like really at all. Yeah, I think also just practicing gratitude influences decisions. Mm -hmm. And example, like this is something I try to do more and more. When we first started Keto Connect, every email we would get, I'd be like, Mega, did you see the email we got today? Someone like asked us about how to know if they're in ketosis. And I was just like, so we, I like looked it up and I was like looking up all these answers. And I wrote them like a couple paragraphs, you yeah. know? And now when we get that same question, you know, we get a lot of them. Like it's easy to just be like, ah, oh, put this in the, I'll answer it later type of thing. Yeah. But when the, I get those, I try practicing gratitude and I'm like, what if I, this was like the first day starting Keto Connect, mm -hmm. how would I react to the same email? So if you just practice it more, it really helps. So then I answer that email better. Like that's an example of practicing gratitude, helping. Right currently if you're like having trouble starting a diet like you're having trouble even stringing together a couple of days of eating keto mm -hmm. correctly you can practice gratitude by being like three months ago i wasn't even thinking about yeah. eating correctly i was just you know like cold stone creamery every every night like everyone's been there where you yeah, just are not really thinking about your food choices and now you're starting to make some positive changes and you know those start building up like that's how i like if you just put everything on a longer timeline like right now you're probably struggling a lot of you are probably struggling with making changes that's just part of it you know like that's this point of the journey right there's no end to it you just got to enjoy the whole thing so you might as well enjoy the current struggles exactly there's the beauty struggles. there's beauty in the struggle yeah that's a, uh, i love that there's beauty in the struggle there's that? beauty in the breakdown is there let us know if you guys practice yeah. gratitude and if you don't, it's essential too. It not only makes you a happier, more motivated individual, but you exude it. Like positive energy is just felt. Mm. Like when you walk into a room, like with positive vibes. So true. Other people are experiencing that too. And it goes for negativity too. So like... Big time. Yeah. I feel it all the time around people. Like if people just have bad energy, this sounds really hocus pocus, but like I can feel it and I need to back no. away. Because, I don't think that's focus focus at all. Well, some people are going to be like better. You know, it's like some no, people. but like if I have a certain opinion of someone and I don't like voice that opinion or make it known still just you can pick that up. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I remember you always pick up on that. With, with me. you. You're very good at that. Yeah, because I know I can give it off, too. And so I'm very aware and cognizant of like other people. So I cannot do it myself. Self-awareness is like the most important thing. Self-awareness and gratitude. Those two things you should absolutely be practicing day in and day out. Those are the big two. Should we have one on self-awareness? Yeah, we'll do another video on self-awareness. Let us know what you guys are grateful for. If you enjoy videos like this, like if we pick a certain topic and we like go off about it. Yeah, we like doing stuff like this. Mm -hmm. We like talking about this. Because even if we're not doing it on camera, we're doing it with one another because it motivates us um to talk about it and to remind ourselves that those are important things yeah and we're still working on these we're not like authority figures which is kind of what gives me a little bit of pause about talking about it but i mean it's feeling gratitude yeah so no one's really an authority authoritarian figure because it's a subjective feeling i feel like there's people that can speak on it really well i would say that practice it really well yeah 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 but we're, we're learning to practice it well, so yeah. people ha who haven't really started, they can start now. Oh my god, Miley's so cute. I'm grateful for Miley. I know, me too. I wish you guys could see her right now. Well, I'll show them at the end if she stays like that. Oh, oh she's just the her best really thing crazy. of all time. Yeah. Um, she's been sleeping with us lately. Yeah, right at our feet. I'm grateful for that. Like, I like waking up when I go to the bathroom at 3 in the morning and she's just like laying there. Matt's like shoving his legs into her. When I went for a walk one day by myself, I picked out a rock, a special rock for me, and I keep it next to my bed or I'll take it with me when like I need to have some strength and I hold on to it and I'm, you know, I think about what I'm grateful for. Why don't you use the rock? I found you that one day. Because it's like jagged and it hurts. I found like a really nice smooth one. Something that really represents my personality. Your personality is super jagged. I know. If I called your personality jagged, you'd be offended. Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. All-time classic album. I don't like Alanis Morissette. Isn't it ironic? It's like rain. That's so what? bad. Are you kidding? That was not that bad. That was hideous, guys. On your wedding day. Why do you end it so rock? like that? I'm cut, doing a hard cut. What? Who did hard cuts? Alanis? All the, all the good singers. No, they don't. 
It's like rain on your way. All right, guys. Gratitude. Practice it. Bye. Bye.